Alexa, what is blockchain? A blockchain, originally blockchain, is a growing list of records called blocks, which are linked. Welcome to Lighto. In this episode of the new series of Lighto IT, where I'm gonna go through the most important technology and information related with those technology that can change and improve business models or that technologies that we can use to build new businesses. Today we're gonna start with blockchain. This is a technology that has been really it's been sounding lately related with what happened with cryptocurrencies and all of this, but today we're gonna focus in only blockchain and there's not a lot of people that know how blockchain works and what is what is the technology in deep. So today we're gonna explain a little bit what is the technology about and we're gonna explain how businesses can make use of blockchain to improve systems and be more efficient. So first I want to explain what is blockchain as a technology itself. Is I think it's important to understand the basic at least of, of blockchain to really seize all the different advantages to create like new ways of transmitting the information in a more secure and faster way. So first I want to start explaining what is blockchain, what is as a technology because um, a lot of people or even the letter that I have about blockchain in, in my career they explain as how to use blockchain for businesses or more related they give they give us an explanation more related to um, how businesses can use it and that's, that's fine because if it helps you understand the potential but I wanted to go farther and understand how the technology works to visualize in my mind how I can actually implement it this technology in in any business context I even create uh, new functions or to use this technology so that I think that's important to understand what it is in a really like basic level to at least uh, know how to use it now so what is blockchain blockchain uh, is just basically a chain of a block that contain data all right so the more users that create block the more secure it is and the reason of, of this is because each block contains three elements first is the data that you want to transfer it can be like the transmitter the receiver the date the quantity or any kind of information that you want that you want to transmit uh, to it to one party to another okay that's simple the second element is the hash which is the identification number of that block. The curious thing of the hash and why this, why this technology is so secure is because that identification number is linked to the data that is inside the block. So if you change the data inside the block, you change the identification number. And the, sec the third element of the block is that each block have as well the identification number, so the hash, of the previous block. So if you change the data in one block, the next one, it will be affected. That way you are breaking the chain in a sense. That's why it's so secure, because everyone that in the network can see all the different blocks, can see the hash. So if you, if you change one, the rest of the people is going to know. That's why it's so secure and it's, it's, it cannot be hacked, basically, because if you change the data, you change the number and you break the chain. So it's so secure because of the identification number that change automatically every time you change the, the information. And because there is a lot of eyes looking at, at this network at the same time. It's not like traditional system when banks and government transfer data that is, is one a organization or even two there is thousand or it can be like thousand of users using it um, that's and that's the case of blockchain or any cryptocurrency that's why it's so secure all right after understanding this basic thing of how blockchain work we can go and explore what, what are the most important business use and how we can use this well, in a business context, we have to understand that any business, uh, any business work with 
a different organization and other businesses as well. So there is a kind of a network where all, all these transactions of it can be tangible access or intangible access like information or financial uh, access as well that occur have to be all this data have to be certificated so and in today's world there is a lot of data that is uh, fluctuating from one organization to another so what blockchain will do is to help to create a network where you connect several um, organization or businesses that need to do a lot of transactions and they will create like a share layer for example that it will automatically be chained when you, you produce one transaction or another. There is kind of a five keys, key elements that define the most common uses of blockchain, how we can use it like any kind of uh, or system. For example, we have the share layer which record any transaction between the different organizations that mm, are using that uh, share layer. So for example, um, in the past, each individual organization have their own layer. And when you chain, when one of the organizations chain one of the access, access uh, you have to chain it as well, or everyone have to chain the same data to be acquired and to be updated. But with blockchain, you basically change the one and it chain in the, in the whole network. So it's way more faster and automatic. The third key element will be smart contracts. In a way that if we, the, this smart contract we automat will automatically determine when a transaction occur. So if the contract is said to your, you one party need to receive a payment when the payment receive the transaction of that asset will be transferred automatically. Then we have consensus, which is basically a way to validate the information. So everybody in the in the network have to validate that transaction and they can make sure that the data haven't been changed. Okay, so to create a more tangible um, visualization of what is blockchain, we're gonna I'm gonna give several examples of how you can apply blockchain and improve your business. So the first one is a really useful one. When we have, for example, a common data um, center where you have, um, for example, um, financial information of consumers, okay, system like KYC, like know your consumer for it, that have platform where uh, there is a lot of information from different customers. Customers, well, but the, with blockchain, if we have, oh, if we have banks and financial institution connected to this common uh, data user, clients of those these banks can give access the bank to access their own information in a secure way. So they, they, can add, they can give us to third party to share the information. For example, when you want to get a credit and you need the financial information of certain clients. Or another really useful example is to track the component in any supply chain. The guest letter that give us the, um, the talk about um, blockchain he gave a really good example. He used to work in IBM and uh, now he owns his own IT company. And he gave an example related to the uh, diamond industry where you can basically track the precedence of the, the diamonds and check that the, re the retailers, the miners and any, any kind of organization that involved in this value chain certificate the information. So it's really, really secure running an industry like that is really important. So the benefits of blockchain are you save time because it's automatic, you, s you save more costs because there is no intermediary regulating or transferring any kind of information. It's all created in the infrastructure so you don't have to do anything. Reduce risk because the hash, the identification number of each data it chain if you change the data. So it's, it's really secure. Like, and also the number of users on the network are the one that secure um, checking 
with having having many many eyes looking at the net and then you increase trust this is really good because when you have a lot of organizations that feeling of knowing all what happened with this data or this transaction or or look at this contract it, when you have an automatic system that secure the data and make the process automatic there is no human involved in a transaction that can mess up or that can you know corrupt the data in any way so everybody is really comfortable and you build the trust in all the network i want to say that blockchain is a really interesting technology ibm has been using it for a long time um it is still not really yet implemented because it's, it's really new and the people have not yet understand all the backing engineer behind that but i think have a lot of potential because you can use it in many many different applications and have a lot of advantage so i think it's going to be the future of secure data in any transactions so um, that's it for today i hope you like it let me know in the comment if you have any questions if you want to know any specific um, way of use blockchain in your own business um, and that's it if you like it give a like and see you on the next one bye